lot of y'all are nice, decent people, and you don't talk like this, so I'm sorry, but we have two winners in the FAFO category. If you're not familiar with FAFO, you know the idea. It's a matrix that the more that you F around, the greater the potential is for you to find out. You keep messing with the dog and poking the bear or, you know, going on the golf course and slapping the alligator's tail, the bear, the dog, the alligator, eventually, you keep effing around, you're going to find out. His name is Kenneth Darlington. He was down in Panama. He's a retired professor, and he took out, uh, he gave uh, two climate protesters the room temperature challenge. I'm going to tell you about it. On one hand, people are going, yeah. On the other, yeah, there's loss of life here, and it's tough. I, I get that. I get it. I'm also going to show you the meme of the week coming off of this. Like, today has been really wild online. People arguing about this. So let me get you up to date and see what you think. Let me know down below what you think. And stay with me. I'll show you this meme that I think is pretty funny. Yeah, that's a wild one. Buckle up. Here we go. Today's episode is brought to you by Hidden Hybrid Holsters. You can carry all day and you can carry comfortably. Hey, if you're going to be buying yourself something awesome for Christmas, a lot of you guys and gals do. You get a new one every Christmas. Go ahead and get your holster. You'll be able to carry all day comfortably, all day hidden. And they're not just awesome. They don't just have amazing customer service and a great rock solid warranty. They're also made by Patriots. Tell them I sent you. When you get there, hiddenhybridholsters.com. You people, thank you for every thumbs up. Appreciate y'all. It's Tarn Feathers, I know. I'm not supposed to talk about it today, but a lot of y'all have asked about that one. His name is Kenneth. And uh, holy smokes, we have a new mythological hero, I think. Kenneth Darlington allegedly opened fire after he got stuck in a traffic jam caused by protesters blocking a highway. It looks like he's an American, but he was born in Panama. I imagine he's got Panamanian citizenships. I don't know. He's a retired professor. He's 77 years old. Yesterday afternoon, he got stuck in a traffic jam blockade that demonstrators had set up on the Pan-American Highway in Shame, Kame, I don't know how to say it, about 50 miles west of Panama City. Y'all know where that is. All right, there is a mine there, and there's a Canadian company that is about to resume extracting copper for the next 20 years. So there's a new governmental mining contract that went to a Canadian company. Some eggheads, some morons, some dinwits, went down there or went over there. I believe they are Panamanian protesters, climate protesters. And they created a traffic jam. He gets out of the car. There's video out there. I'm trying to be careful because I know YouTube will get really upset about this one. And they had, an, had, had a verbal altercation and he popped two of them. And both of them, one passed there, one passed and succumbed to injuries is what, what they said. Kenneth Darlington, here's the best that I could find out about this dude. He's an American, but he is, again, Panamanian-born, associate professor of law at the Universidad del Istmo, Panama. Here's his book. I found his book. You come here, you find out stuff you're not going to get on, on CNN or Fox. I found his book because I know how to look for stuff, and uh, I have no idea. Something like the, the blockade of, the constitutional blockade of Panama. I don't know. So he does this and pops them, and man, people are upset on one hand. Yes, I get it, loss of life. The other, I think people are freaking fed up with this nonsense. This is not new. These people that have bought into the cult of climate change, they have bought into the point that it is an absolute cult. These are cultists, and they will do anything for attention. This is the new PETA. And kids today, man, I'm telling you, they are bought in. Big time bought in. It's, it's nothing new. Those ones from back in Germany that uh, they epoxied their hand to the, to the highway. Uh, I think this is as of July that they were facing amputation. I don't think you'll get your hand back from that. I really don't. But it's all over the place. I mean, it's in, I did a research today and there's stuff all over the place. Here's one in India where they glued their hands to an airport runway. They also may need amputation. And they're not just doing the roads. They're doing a lot of blockades in a lot of cities. The Germans, remember that one where they grabbed them by the hair, threw them off the freaking road where they need to be? F around, find out. F around, you're going to find out. And this crap, if it's not in your city, it is coming. I'm not being dramatic. It's here. This stuff is here. They've also been going after artwork for the last few years. I mean, they've hit the Mona Lisa. They hit the girl with the pearl earring. They've hit the scream. <sighs> Big time popular. I think over the weekend, they jabbed some holes in some artwork. And uh, yeah, people are giving them attention. 
His name is Kenneth Darlington. Is he a mythological hero to you? Is he the champion of the FAFO Matrix? Here's my new favorite meme that came out today, the ballad, <laughs> the Gunfighter Ballads. Y'all know that old Marty Robbins album? Gunfighter Ballads and Trail Songs by Kenneth Darlington. <laughs> Songs include, I've got places to be, Stone Cold Killer, get the F out of the road, F-A-F-O. <laughs> Grandpappy, <laughs> Grandpappy ain't got time for this crap. The Riri's tie, or cry, that's move beyond, I'm not asking anymore. Now you're going to die wearing that stupid little hat. Pick another place to protest, idiot, and ugh, red asphalt. That's rough, that's rough talk. F-A-F-O. And we're sitting here giggling about it. I don't know. It's a mess. Let me know where you're at. I'll be back here with more memes tomorrow on Spicy Friday. Love y'all. See ya.